placement of your shoes is very important, you know. For maximum not getting robbed. Man's had man's shoes robbed before for number one. It's not a nice feeling still. Especially the LVs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How you doing, brother? I'm you okay? very good. We're very good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Do you want to sit down here? Yeah, sure. I, I got bad knees, bro. So how are you feeling? What's the, you know, what's the emotion right now? I guess it's, it's going into the unknown, isn't it? So that makes me uncomfortable because I like to, when I travel, when I go places, I like to be in control of every aspect. Islam in Arabic means surrender. And so the ritual from beginning to end is about surrendering to God. So Umrah has got three parts to it. Mm -hmm. One is a state you have to enter into which some ordinary things are not going to be allowed for you anymore, which we call it the ihram. You can't wear jackets, trousers, anything stitched or sewn as regular clothing. All you do wear is two cloths. You can't wear no underwear, well, you no, can't wear I no can't boxes, wear no Calvin Klein's. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. You know, we associate so much pride and identity with clothing, with brand. And what you're stripping down to, in all honesty, is what you're going to be buried with. Then you go to do the first ritual, which is the tawaf, seven times round, the Kaaba. Okay. What's interesting is you're going to lose yourself in a sea of people walking. And so as you're in that tawaf, you're just doing the real motion of the entire universe, circling around the one. Then you go to Safa and Marwa, which are the two hills. They've been marbled, marbled over. There are two green lights. You're meant to run between them or like um, be quick or like a, yeah. light, a light jog. And then you're done. And that's the end of Umrah. Now you need to exit the state. Oh. How do you exit the state? It's by cutting your hair. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the part. How attached are you to this fine mane of yours? I don't know if I can go bold. <laughs> I don't know if I can go bold. But I've been told, that one of my friends said, the more hair you cut off, the more like, good deeds you get. So, so you, you, you either can cut it short or you can shave it with a blade. Oh, God. So I'd say if you shave it off, get it on camera. I got it. I'm up for that. <laughs> You're up for it. <laughs> well, watch me shave. Yeah, watch me shave it. Thank you, bro. That's the best. Thank you so much. It was good, man. Uh, a very knowledgeable guy, and didn't make me feel ignorant. It made me feel like I was welcome to learning more, and that was the best part of it.